Super casual, guys. Yeah. Super casual. I'm not nervous. Okay. Coming from the one with the script. Uh, <laughs> hi, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. This is Bonnie with Buy Bonnie Jewelry, where I talk about all things diamonds. So today it's really special because I have actual real clients in store that I bought from me, and I want to interview with them because, of course, they're so beautiful to look at. I mean, come on. Like, look at her and look at him. They're like supermodels. Well, let's start with introducing yourself. Hi, my name is Stephanie. I live in Livermore. Um, and we just recently got engaged back in look August. At, bring, the, bring the hand closer. Yes, look at that. Oh my God. Congratulations on that. So, Thank you. Uh, and? Taylor, uh, her better, better half. <laughs> uh, we're getting married next year. So uh, we came to pick up the ring and we couldn't be more excited. How did you end up here? Cause I know from just talking to you about cars, we were talking about car shopping. This guy, like he knows <laughs> stuff and he does his research before he buys anything. Tell us about like the sh your shopping experience before you met me and then how we get got connected. Yeah, so ironically enough, found you on YouTube. Um, okay. So luckily Google has figured out that I was looking for an engagement <laughs> ring and uh, sent, you know, targeted ads my way. And, oh, okay. and we were actually watching a YouTube video in bed at night. Yours was one of the related videos to it. Oh, together. You were watching yeah. it together. Yeah, we, oh. we went through the process See, they, they can do, like, you guys can do stuff together too. A lot of the viewers are like, oh, should I do it by myself or should I do it together? This day and age, guys, a lot of people are shopping together. This I is think a great it's point. honestly the best way to do it where I, I had a rough idea of what she wanted, but you know, getting down to like those final details of like, how many millimeters uh, do you want this to be? Write like, it down, guys. I think, I think that's yeah. where it was really easy to have her there the whole time. We yeah. saw the little video, the little fumble of your video. And oh, I was like, okay. that's yeah. the perfect ring right there. Oh, there was a perfect ring. Oh, yeah. okay. I didn't know that. So we clicked on that, that. clicked on that, watched the video, had no idea who you were at the time. And then in your uh, caption, it said 650. And we're like, oh, that's nearby. Okay. So looked you up immediately. Awesome. We'd been to probably like 10 jewelers before that. Yeah. And like you said, I'm a big research guy. Yeah. Obviously, this is a huge purchase to yeah, make where, you know, big you want market. it to be the right one. <laughs> it was just a, a very different experience when I when I first spoke to you where everyone else yeah. I felt like was trying to like, you know, sell me a diamond or sell me, you know, them or whatever. And, mm -hmm. and you were just very different on the phone, very straightforward, which I personally like to deal with that way. I'm from mm -hmm. New York, so I'm definitely mm -hmm. a straightforward person oh, too. Oh, okay. I, I, All those New Yorkers that are watching, because I know you're watching. I have New York clients. Yeah. Hey, I'm walking here. I'm walking here. Thought I knew what I was talking about with like, you know, the GIA stuff and, you know, the mm -hmm. quality and everything. And you're like, all of that goes out the window. Like you need to see the stone and. I know, know, I know. When he called me, he was like, oh, hey, like I've been to like 10 different places and this and that. I'm like, okay, I mean, that's fine. You know, and I was, I respect his research obviously because everyone's doing research. But I felt like what you were telling me, the experience was like uh, jewelers were, uh, some of the people that you worked with was just like, what, like taking screenshots of like stones that they have not seen, right? Yeah. And they were just quoting you that Prices, way. Yeah. yeah, so basically like the same thing is if you were to do your own online shopping, like <laughs> capturing things and be like, oh yeah, here's what we can offer, here's the price. When I heard that, I was like, oh my God. And that was like kind of the like bad experience of that. Like we went to one jeweler in San Francisco and drove all the way out there, looked at the stone, it was like terrible immediately. And we just spent, you know, three hours driving, driving back and there. forth. And I think it was just because they wanted us to get in a shop and, and maybe we'd buy something that day. This guy has had a list and that list was impressive when i got his list i was like, okay let's let's see what he's gonna say let's see what he's gonna say because i i was always telling him i was like whatever he started telling me i was like okay like i understood your point but i was told you like what the search says yeah, is yeah. not what the diamond looks like and was, it was that proven that was to you yeah it was the most true thing <laughs> you, you said thing. where you were like i'm not like I won't speak to you until the perfect diamond is here. And like, then you can come in and, and it was, and that was the one we bought. So. And now you're just happy. Like how happy are you with this ring? It's stunning. I, I can't stop looking at it. How many compliments this, do you get on it? Multiple every single day, whether we're at the grocery store or a restaurant or I'm on Zoom at work yeah. and people uh, are just c commenting. And I yeah. get compliments too. They like, they're like, <laughs> oh, oh yeah. great job picking it out. Like, I, I, talk to Bonnie, I didn't do anything. Let's talk 
about like, you know, in my channel, I talk about like quality of craftsmanship. So I helped you out with the diamond selection. So you felt that whatever you, you relied on my expertise pretty much like yeah. that. I yeah. was telling you, Hey, whatever it says on the certificate, it's not it. So I showed you something incredible Yeah. and that I curated. So for those of you who don't understand what curation is, it's basically part of my process. I look at tens of diamonds, maybe even hundreds to get to that perfect parameter in real life not just what's on the certificate because the certificate can say we're about to show the footage of that perfect stone that you saw by the way it was like perfect on the spinning video i even yeah. still mm -hmm. i saved the spinning video because <laughs> i was like this has this been photoshopped because it had like no bow tie it was like yeah. perfect and then in real life it was like a double tuxedo it was like a double bow tie and yeah. we were just yeah. like you were shocked when you saw I was it shocked. yeah i was like oh my god this guy just drove like what an hour and a half there spent yeah. time an hour and a half back and the jewel was telling you like oh yeah because <laughs> uh, I, I, what I would tell everyone was like, if you're not going to give this to your wife or girlfriend or significant other, like, yeah. I, I don't want to see it then. Like, right. if, you're, if it's no, not good enough for you, it's definitely not good enough never, for me. Yeah, and there was basically no filter process. I never felt like anybody really, it, it was either like, you know, just a train, like, here's your textbook manual, like, say this about, you know, what's the shape and cut the color. Like, very robotic, right? Yeah. yeah. And there was no real, like, someone really there, like, curating for you, like, hey. I know this is the one. So I'm glad you guys had that experience with me, which is good. So for those of you who always ask me like, what is the curation? What's so special? Here it is, real yeah. life yeah. people. Let's talk about the quality of the craftsmanship. Yeah. So you've seen rings. So tell me if there is a difference. Did you see a difference with the quality of the craftsmanship? Or you felt like, oh, it's all the same. The idea of having the completely personalized option, exactly what I wanted down to the, you know, point, Point one of a millimeter is just exactly the hidden halo and having the same color of diamonds on the pave that the center stone is and it all oh, matches. Yeah. Yeah. The it's color clarity match. The oh, color I clarity match. That. That's what, there's, there's so many things to factor in and it's it's yeah. such a business that like not a lot of people obviously you only yeah. buy one of them you know yeah. in theory yeah. <laughs> things work out, uh, I'm sure. where it's something that a lot of people don't know about it yeah. and one of the things we noticed a lot of the jewelers would do too is they would outsource whoever actually made the setting yeah so like Correct. one jeweler a local jeweler we were like try to support local yeah. that we went to in the beginning they kept sending they would like send it out to a company who obviously was limited because they were just mass producing the same same yeah. setting over and over yes and there was no personalization out. yeah and there was like, no what, way I could have gotten this from anyone else. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, she just, oh thank you. So to speak to what you guys were saying about the craftsmanship, so that you guys actually understand how I make my rings, right? So each ring that is made, first we start with the engineering of the ring. We select the center stone, then we start engineering the ring, making sure that what, why is it low profile? Why is it flush fan? All these things that I talk about in my channel. We think about that in the process of making your ring and we start with raw, just metal. And then every single stone, every single pave, we carve it and we set it by hand. And a lot of the settings that are, like you said, mass produced, they're all pre-drilled, pre-done by machine. So that also affects the weight of the metal, right? Yeah. So when the machine comes out this way, so there's already half the weight of the metal before you even st start stone setting, right? So that already takes away the heft of the ring, yeah. right? right? So that, which is like, you know, when you, you, you buy something, it's nice, it's heavy. It's yeah. Like yeah. a nice pen, right? It's heavy. Right? It's a, a amazing pen to, for professionals. Right. It's nicely made. So that, and then plus the color clarity matching. Let's talk to my audience about price because this is one of the things where, you know, people are always like, oh, everything's so personalized. It sounds like it's not affordable. Like, should I reach out to her? Should I not? Like, this is one thing that guys, especially, <laughs> when they watch the it, they're like, important the most there. important factor. So talk to my audience. Like when you walked out of here, did you feel like whatever price you paid was something that you thought was right for the product that you received? I think I actually got away cheap, to be honest. I probably shouldn't tell you that. I should have tried you more. Yeah, no, it's yeah. one of those things where I think there's good tools out there, like, you know, rare carrot and stuff like mm -hmm. that, that are probably pretty accurate as far as what something should cost. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that matches to what the actual quality is in reality. Right. I think yeah. that's where you're different, where I think you're, you know, right where you need to be price wise, but yeah. you're getting like 
what you should be paying so for. So you got a like, deal. Yeah. He's smiling. You versus, see that smirk <laughs> on his face? He's like trying not to tell other people. It wasn't just about the, the price of it though. It's That's the price good. for the personalized ring with looking, having you look at all of those stones and you know sending us all those options. Mm -hmm. Then being able to customize the band. Mm -hmm. And I really felt like we knew everything in the process as it was happening mm -hmm. and you were so timely with updates and yeah, and I tried yeah. to it do was, that, guys. I yeah, tried. the was... overall service just like you like text and it's just super easy. I feel like I'm just like you know talking to a friend that just happens to be making the ring for me. Yeah, so that's awesome. Um, Everyone's dying to know how did he propose. Let's. I want to know. Like... Was going through a bunch of ideas. Maybe we'd go somewhere fancy like Palm Springs mm -hmm. and like you know try to do something great but that's not really us. Had it worked out where I, I sent everything to her parents' house, like decorations and everything. Mm -hmm. She drove to pick me up at the airport, sent her parents into the house to go decorate and you know, put oh, up the Oh wow, and so you must have been shocked. Completely surprised. Completely shocked. Because I had left, the house was how I had left it. First thing we did was walk right up the stairs and it, there was candles and rose petals and yeah. signs and oh, champagne. It was perfect. Yeah. I'm Almost getting, perfect. Like, emotional. It took her about five minutes to say yes because she was yeah. staring at the whole time. <laughs> like, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> That's awesome. I think the first words that came out of my mouth were, oh my God, it's so stunning. Yeah, yeah. she was more focused on the ring than yeah. me. A little pointer for those of you out there who are like thinking about proposal, I would say this to every couple. Try not to complicate things, you know? I've had like guys try to like climb, like had the girl climb on top of some mountain and they were like all sweaty and they don't want to be sh like camp captured and yeah. all yeah. that stuff and the wind is blowing your hair is like <laughs> all over couldn't take a picture yeah i, I did that i went Simple through like good. seven million different possible potential yeah, ways of doing yeah. it and that Just was that was intimate. the best one yeah. okay. it was the best one it awesome. was it was us which was the most perfect way awesome yeah, awesome well perfect. thank you for saying through this like little casual interview is there anything else you want to say to my fans who are watching and you know they're thinking about should I contact Bonnie? Like, should I get her expertise? Is there something that you want to say to them for me? Yeah, I mean, I think it's, I think the look, proof- Look, is, look the proof. at that. <laughs> look, look at I the think camera. It's, yeah. <laughs> I'm um, so nervous. No, I mean, obviously Bonnie's, you're you're amazing. You're the right person to deal with. We just actually came by to, to buy our wedding bands now. So we're getting the full the full set yeah. from you. and. Everybody else we know will be uh, will be coming here as well. So yeah, we're recommending you, you to everyone. Oh, yeah. thank you so much, guys. Okay. So if you just click on my referral code. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. Thank you for Thank stopping you. by. That's it. Congratulations to you again. Thank you. So Thank you. for those of you who are looking, call me. Click away. Yeah. Send me a DM. All right. Thanks so much, guys. Bye.